I love you, but you can't be in my video. Okay. Okay. Hello everyone, Midori here, and this is She Knows Vinos. For those of you who don't know, Vinos means wine in Spanish. And on this channel, it's all wine, all the time. Today's video, we're going to be talking about my March favorite wines. So I tried a lot of wines this month. I keep a organized list of what I tried, tasting notes, how much it costs, where I've tried it, where you can buy it. And so I went through that and I picked out, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I, tried, I picked out five wines of probably the 25 wines that I tried uh, this month. The first wine I want to mention is from a company called Rock Wall Winery, and this has quickly become one of my favorite wineries. Uh, it's in Alameda, California, and they have a wonderful tasting room, and there's an outdoor patio with a place to see the San Francisco skyline. It's really awesome. This specifically, I've really been enjoying this month. I have this empty bottle, and then I have this full bottle waiting for me. Um, so it's a Zinfandel and a Petite Syrah, um, and this blend is absolutely de delectable. Um, it's got a lot going on. Uh, it's fruity, it's earthy, it's a bit smoky and smooth and velvety. It's just delicious. It runs about $25 a bottle, and I think it's worth every single penny. Really love it. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, 1 being not the best, I would give this a an 8. I think this is an 8 for me, which is actually a really, really high score. So, big fan. If you're in the Bay Area, California, go to their winery. They have great events. I cannot say enough about Rockwall so many favorites but this month I was really enjoying this one. So if you don't want to spend $25 on a bottle of Zinfandel Petit Syrah blend, um, I tried this um, Bogle Vineyards Old Vine Zinfandel. I actually talk about it in another video so if you want to see that I go into way more detail but it's $11. You can get it in most places. I feel like it's very easily accessible. Um, it's floral, it's jammy, it's herby, it's solid. Okay, and next we have the cutest bottle I've ever seen. Ta-da! Isn't she cute? I just really, really love her. Yeah, she's great. I actually got this in Oregon, and I love the bottle so much. I tried it in Oregon when I was visiting, and I love the bottle so much that I brought it home. So um, this is Moseland, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Cat Riesling from Germany. The bottle's genius. I'm a cat lover. As you saw earlier, I have a cat. I have two cats, Zuzu and Tootsie. The Riesling inside is pretty good too. It's crisp, it's clean, it's got sort of an apple-y flavor to it. You can eat it with a lot of things. I, I thoroughly enjoyed this. Another winner for sure. In, on so many levels, a winner. Yeah, cat wine. Oh, I didn't bring it over here. Darn. Um, so there was a wine that I talked about in my video about the my world mar market wines, and it's called Fabre Montmeu. Um, apparently, I don't have the bottle right here in front of me, um, but I will uh, get a. Oh, I have some. In my lip, probably cat hair from when I was snuggling my cat. Um, so I don't have the bottle right in front of me, but I will do a um, put a little bit of video here for it. But if you like Malbec, I think this is an awesome choice. I thought it was really delicious and I enjoyed drinking the rest of the bottle. It's solid. So Fabre Montemayo, I'll get a photo for you and I'll link it below. The next two wines I kind of paired together because I actually found them both at um, a collective winery called uh, Riggers Loft Wine Company. And so they're a collective tasting room um, and they're a winery and a cidery. Um, so they're home to R&B Cellars, uh, Caraco Wines, Irish Monkey Cellars, uh, and Far West Cider Company. And so they have, basically, they're all these smaller companies that have joined together as a collective um, to sell their wine and have a tasting room together. And I think it's just the best idea. First of all, the tasting room is gorgeous. It's in Richmond, California. It's right on the water. It's actually very near the um, Rosie the Riveter um, National Historic Monument. So if you're ever gonna go there, definitely go to Riggers Loft and check them out. 
I tasted some delicious, unique wine there. There's two in particular that I really wanted to bring up. So this is uh, Irish Monkey Cellars, and this is a Sauvignon Blanc. I don't like go crazy for Sauvignon Blancs usually, but this was so delicious and citrusy and refreshing. There are just some wines that transport you to another time and place. I felt like I was on a beach vacation. I really wanted a fish dinner by the beach. It was just so delicious, so refreshing, and so unique. I really can't say enough about this. It's $27. Irish Monkey Cellars, they're really small, their website is really small, but if you can get your hands on a bottle of this, do it. Last, but certainly not least, is probably, no, it is, the most unique wine that I've tried this month. And the company is called R&B Cellars, and this is a Zinfandel, a 2010 Zinfandel. So we had gone through the tasting and we had tasted a bunch of really good wines, but then we asked uh, the sommelier there, what she thought the best wine was, like what was her favorite. And it wasn't part of our tasting, but she gave us a little taste, and it was this, and it was just so delightful, so fun, so unique. Did so many things on the palate, it was just delicious. And all of their wine is named after music. And the really cool thing about this is that my younger sister's name is Allegra. And I didn't know that when I tried it, and I just thought it was the most unique, delightful, really joy in a bottle. So I was so happy that they had named it Allegreza. It's not Allegra, but it's close enough, same idea. My parents named my little sister Allegra because it means joyful. Um, so yeah, Allegreza Zinfandel. It's, it's beautiful. It's blackberries, dark cherries, uh, spicy, very mouth-watering, wonderful. It was so unique, really like nothing I'd ever tasted. So um, R&B Cellars, Zinfandel, I wanna say it's $30. So here we have it, these two. Oh, and the reason why these are not opened was because I just bought the bottles and tried, I have them there, I had glasses of them there. These are my favorites from this month. So Zuzu and I are gonna wrap things up right there. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a, leave a comment below. Please let me know any wines that you tried this month that were just really delicious that I need to try. I hope that you get a chance to try all these wines. If you do, please leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of them. I really wanna hear from you, so please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.